This morning we're going to talk about the idea called the sensitives, which is volume 11 in the notebooks. And is, uh, the full title is The Sensitives, Dynamics and Dangers of Mysticism. In this topic he talks about problems on the spiritual path, places that people get lost along the way. He talks about problems with visions, occultism, teachers, mysticism, cults, delusions, problems of students. So we see that in the spiritual life there are many ways we can go in the wrong direction. And these are discussed in detail in this topic. Based on his own personal experiences and his extensive travels and interviews and meetings with hundreds of spiritual teachers around the world. In this book, Paul Brunton said, It is easy to mistake the voice of the ego for the voice of the over-self. So that is an important question. When we think we know the truth, or we think we have an inspiration, how do we distinguish a real inspiration from an inspiration contaminated by the ego. Understanding this idea will help us distinguish the true from the false inspiration. To undertake this study is valuable for a number of reasons. It gives us a map of the spiritual path and an understanding of the goal. So if we understand where we're going, then we're less likely to stop along the way. It can help us to avoid mistakes. I don't think that's correct because we will make the mistakes. But when we make the mistakes, perhaps we'll be able to realize them more quickly or be more open to those who point them out to us. The study can help us understand and make sense of our spiritual experiences. It can help us understand and evaluate ourselves, our brothers and sisters, and our spiritual communities. And it is valuable in this planetary moment when there is a lot of confusion in the world and we need to stay aligned in chaotic situations. So let us think of the ego as a vessel. It's a vehicle for the soul's light to shine through. And our job is to purify and perfect the ego so when the light shines through, there is no distortion. And to accomplish this is the work of the spiritual path. So in an enlightened being, the light would flow through without any distortion. The more dense the being is, the more there will be distortion added to the light. So I would like to present a question. What happens when the ego is partially purified and the light shines through it? So there can be some real light coming through and there can be a lot of the ego mixed into it. And the ego can think that it is all light. The ego really likes to feel that it is all light. It helps the ego to feel very special. So Paul Brunton goes through all these different aspects of spiritual problems that happen when the ego is confused with the light. In the case or example of spiritual teachers, in the case of very advanced mystics, and in the case of students or followers. He also discusses the problems that come up as you become more sensitive to the inner, and that in turn makes us oversensitive to the external. So some things that can happen when the ego gets confused with the light is what is called inflation. So for example, let's think of the Tai Chi, the Qigong practice we did last night. The Qi comes from nature. And Master Fan taught us that we allow the Qi to flow through us. But if you think that the Qi is coming from you, or that it is your energy, or that you are the one doing the healing, we would call that a form of inflation or confusion. And this is very common. Another problem is that the light stimulates our imagination. 
the ideas that are true get mixed in with our own ideas. And this is a problem in any religious or other forms of inspiration. So we have to be careful of what is called spiritual pride. The ego looks for these opportunities to feel spiritual pride. And it's especially problematic in a person who has some light or illumination. So we must look for someone who has humility, who is devoted to service, who is flexible. And these attributes are very good ways to deflate the ego, which thinks it has the light. Another problem that can happen is when we have very profound mystical or spiritual experiences, or when we have experiences of the intermediate worlds, of the spirit world, or of the hierarchies. We can confuse these different levels with the highest level and stop along the way. In Brazil, there is a very great awareness and openness to these different spiritual realms. And they are correct because they are real, but they might not be the ultimate or the final level or experience. And this is the problem of the mystic who has beautiful inner experiences. A mystic can become very attached to their experiences. She or he can go into very deep, beautiful states of meditation. And then this person can become very attached to those experiences and start feeling very unhappy with the world, with the external reality. In the mystical literature, they describe the dark night of the soul, when the mystic feels that God has left them completely. This is an important experience, although it is an experience of great suffering, because it removes the last trace of the ego from the mystic's personality.